Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to make a fuzzy sock sushi set. I filmed this video as part of my 1000 subscribers special, in which I spent a thousand minutes making fuzzy sock plushies. This is the last tutorial from that video, the other two, the cow and the puffin plushies, have already been uploaded. Making these sushis is really simple. It starts with a rectangular base that you can use color, detailing, and embroidery to turn into any sushi that you want. I'll be making five variations, salmon, yellowtail, and egg nigiri, and sashimi. We'll be starting off with the egg nigiri because it's about as complex as it's going to get, so it'll demonstrate most of the techniques needed to make the others. And you'll need some white, yellow, and black fuzzy sock fabric. To start, I'm going to thread my needle. I'm using upholstery thread because it shows up well on camera, but any thread will do. The rest of the supplies you'll be needing will be listed below. Be sure to tie several knots in the end of the thread to keep it from slipping through the fabric. Next, using a sharpie that preferably matches the color of my sock, I'll be drawing a rectangle to indicate where to sew. On one of the shorter sides, you can add about an inch for turning if you feel like you'll forget without the visual cue. Now we can sew up the sides, attaching the thread with a slip knot for extra security. And I'm sewing with a back stitch. When you get to the line you marked, fasten off the thread with a couple of knots, then do the other side. Don't fasten off that thread, because we can use it to close up the piece once we cut it out and stuff it. Once it's cut, turn it inside out, making sure to poke out all the edges, then stuff it with fiber fill. If you, like me, have been doing a tremendous amount of sewing lately and feel guilty about throwing away little scraps of fabric, you can cut them up really finely and add a little bit to your plushies, making sure to cushion it with fiber fill because the scraps aren't quite as soft, and you don't want them to be noticeable in the plush. Next, I whip stitched it closed with the thread I left myself, finishing off with a slip knot and hiding the tail inside the plush. So there's our base, completely finished. The same shape is used for both rice and fish. And as you'll see in a minute, you can make more of these in different colors or with embroidered details, and you can stack them together to make different types of sushi. For my egg nigiri, I'm now going to make a white one in the exact same manner for the rice. Since we have some time on our hands, in this video we're actually going to have quite a bit of time, I'd like to point out the music in this video. Some of it was composed and recorded by my incredibly talented friend Carter, who also happens to have a YouTube channel where he uploads covers, original compositions, and jazz improv, among other music-related things. I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out, link is in the description. Now that we've finished both of our pieces, we can sew them together using a very lazy lather stitch in order to keep the definition between the two pieces. You may have to work your way around the plush multiple times to create a secure join. Next, cut a strip of black sock fabric for the seaweed, being careful not to handle it too much to limit the amount of fraying. Here you can see me pinning it onto the plush in preparation for sewing, but this ended up fraying the fabric too much, so I just eyeballed it. I cut off some of the excess while still leaving plenty of overlap, then began whip stitching it on with relatively fine stitches to prevent it from fraying as much as possible and I just worked my way around both sides of the seaweed, being as thorough as I could. So, there's our first piece of sushi finished. Next, I'm going to be making the yellowtail nigiri, which is the same as the egg nigiri, just without the seaweed and with different colors, then some sashimi. Since it doesn't really require its own voiceover, I'd like to take a moment to talk about some upcoming content, as I've now edited the last of the Fuzzy Sock videos in the backlog. I'm thinking about shifting away from tutorial style videos, and instead making Fuzzy Sock videos more similar to my Georgie plushie video. For those of you who are unfamiliar, that was more of an exploration of the medium, pushing my boundaries of what I thought was possible. That way, I won't have to worry about making things concise or not messing up because I'm trying to teach someone, and besides, I think it would be more entertaining for the casual viewer. Anyone with a little bit of experience could probably recreate whatever I make, so the tutorial aspect won't be completely gone, and besides, I'll probably make tutorials from time to time as well when I get ideas for them. I recently got monetized, which will help, because I'll be able to get different colors of socks besides my usual value pack with the pastel colors. So yeah, just a brief announcement, no big changes. 
After making an orange base piece, I can use white embroidery thread to make it look like a piece of salmon. Using a larger needle, I began by anchoring my thread on the bottom of the piece with a couple of knots. Then I used a back stitch in which I split the thread to create these diagonal lines across the piece, leaving the bottom plain. I kind of laid it across where I wanted to stitch, then doubled back and split the stitch with my needle, making relatively long stitches. I then lather stitched it to a white base, just like all the others. With that, our sushi set is finished! If you want, you can make other accessories, like a year or so ago I made a crocheted version similar to this for my sister, in which I made a soy sauce bottle and a sheet of fake grass as well. This is a really fun project to make because it's really simple, but there's so much variation in color and design you can explore. Thanks so much for watching! If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe for more fuzzy sock plushies, vintage sewing, and whatever else I feel like doing. See you next time!